Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Razor 1 video. And today, we're back in X-Plane. We are at a very high altitude, which is basically the theme of this video. Today, we're gonna talk about Virgin Galactic, which is quite a recent topic, maybe. So, you might have already heard of Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic is basically uh, a space flight company that actually offers flights, normal flights, to normal passengers that normal passengers will pay for to space obviously. Now, you know what? Let's pretend we are very, very rich and can afford a flight ticket for $250,000, which this one will cost. Now, for $250,000, you could take the most expensive flight 12 times, just to put that in perspective. For example, Casey Neistat made a video about the most expensive flight ticket, which was $20,000 on Emirates, but that's a whole nother topic. I think ticket sales will start next year, in 2020. That will be very exciting. Now, yes, I've made a video about this earlier in like June or July or August or Jesus, 2019 went quickly. I mean, it's like November already, isn't it? Are you sure about that? It's December, isn't it? And that $250,000 that you will be spending allow you to have a 90-minute flight in actual space beyond the stratosphere, whatever. Now, this is the aircraft slash spacecraft that you'll be entering. As you can see, we have three fuselages. And actually, this is two planes. So, you know, to kind of explain this easily, we're going to take off with this configuration. And then when it's safe to fly with this middle smaller plane that has a rocket engine, which allows it to fly in space we'll drop it there we go we have just pressed the space bar and the plane is free and on its own now we are not at a high altitude so this was kind of unnecessary but you know this was just to show you now, now yes we have separated this module from the other module the aircraft is called white knight 2 and this aircraft slash spacecraft is called white no oh yes it's spaceship 2 what a creative name, right? So you know what? Let's just go ahead and fly and see what happens, right? Now, back then, when I first made a video about this plane, the concept wasn't really a thing yet and wasn't really realistic. But now it actually seems like things are going to fly next year, which is very exciting. Now, we are actually at the airport right now where you would be taking off this plane. We are at Spaceport America, which is in the Mojave Desert in uh, California. It's kind of weird since the brand version is from England. All right, let's just take off casually. And this thing has four engines. Those are quite powerful engines, actually. I mean, they are supposed to carry a whole nother aircraft, so that kind of makes sense. And this has an enormously long wingspan as well. It's very interesting, to say the least. Uh, what the hell? Now, yeah, let's skip some time by cheating. Yeah, let's fly to like, I don't know, 50,000 feet. And then we can drop off this middle module aircraft thing, which again has a rocket engine. And it kind of sucks for this aircraft to fly in lower altitudes, which is why you need this uh, carrier aircraft. So we are at 40,000 feet. Let's continue our climb until this aircraft kind of dies. Yeah, this thing won't climb anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, drop this guy off and see what happens. Now, right now, an AI is actually flying this one so let's see what it's going to do okay let's see what the ai is going to do with this uh it's, now you know what let's get into the position of the spaceship too so we're going to be carried up to you know fifty thousand feet and then fly right now we are being carried by the white knight 2 which is actually being controlled by an ai Oh my goodness. So yeah, you can uh, you can see this thing has a rocket engine and this is not a non-powerful rocket engine. So we have taken off. At least the AI has taken us off. Oh no, we have separated. That's not good. Now let's use a cheat again to get us into higher altitudes at around 50,000 feet. The landing gear is out right now and you can already tell this thing has no nose gear, which is kind of weird for landing it because you do have to land this plane. Now we all know that jet engines would probably... Oh. Oh, we have run out of fuel. Yeah, jet engines would die at this altitude, but since we have a kind of a rocket engine, we can just normally fly. As you can see, we can already see some stars, which means that we are pretty damn high. Okay, so we are very, very high. 130,000 feet. Okay, let's maybe descend a little already and maybe come in for a landing. Now, this thing actually even reached 89 kilometers of height, which is almost 300,000 feet. This is how high this plane 
was able to fly. Jesus Christ, that is absolutely crazy. Now, maybe let's go ahead and take off. Sh uh, t take off? Now, maybe let's go ahead and descent a little. This is a bit of a 737 map. Now, this thing also has a feather, which is used when uh, landing, I guess. Yeah, this is not a very good add on aircraft. It's, it's paper, though, actually. Yeah, this is cool. This is a very simple plane as well. This is quite modern. Let's maybe return back to the airport. Wait, wow, we traveled actually quite a long distance. Now, let's get back to the airport and kind of try to land this one. Now, I can already see Sam Chewie flying this. I'm the richest king in the world with all the gold here. Yep. So where is the airport? It should be somewhere here, actually. Now let's uh, descend a little more. We have a G counter here. Let's push some Gs and see how structurally reliable this one is. Oh, 5G, that does not seem comfortable. Oh, we just forced seven Gs. Now let's just go ahead and land, shall we? And let's uh, get those feathers going. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is that? I think there's a little bug here, isn't there? <laughs> I don't think this should be happening, right? Because in real life, the feathers are actual things that come out and allow the plane to have a more stable flight. As I told you earlier, there is no nose gear. This thing also eats fuel, Jesus. Now, yeah, just a reminder, this plane is not a concept. It's an actual thing. There were already some test passenger flights. They pretty much all went well. I mean, not all. Some crashed, but... Oh... That's a little bit of a bumpy runway, to say the least. Now, let's use the actual drag chute. Oh, my God. That doesn't... That didn't work quite well, did it? Bounce, bounce, bounce. And now the drag chute. Boom. <laughs> well, that's quite ironic. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.